Hello! My name is Grian! Can you, can you hear me? Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft! These machines are too loud! As you can see, I've made the world's noisiest farms powering my new hippie machine and this is oh this is making me lag as well and there's impulse over there hold on i'm gonna see what they're up to bro, bro. <laughs> can you hear me bro it's, it's too loud what huh hold no, on here, let me turn up these machines oh my goodness these machines are so loud i can't even hear the rockets I was just inviting you guys over oh. to come see this redstone project that you guys hired me for. You have no idea how good it is to hear again. That. <laughs> this is awful. What have I created? Oh, man. I can hear that all the way from over here, dudes. It's... Yeah. It's, na it's, it's nasty. You've made your Whoop. countdown clock. Awesome. Ooh. Yep. Yep. It's up and running. It is ready to go. That is um, oh. that is a flying box of not very hippie like, but then I can't really talk either. Yeah, I don't know what you two have been up to. You know, I'm building giant shrooms, and you guys are making industrial machines. I mean, yeah. it's conflict of interest here, gentlemen. Don't worry. By the time I'm done, it'll all be hidden. Okay, impulse. Can you come and can you go and show us the clock? I want to take a, sure. See how yeah, it works. Take the, take the sucker for a spin. It's pretty cool. It's got some different things that it can do. It can go up. See, three, two, uh, four, it should go. There we go. It can go back down. This is the four kind of thing that sounds really easy in Minecraft, but it's just, <laughs> it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take not. a look at this redstone. No, it is, it is crazy. My head is still spinning from this redstone. I was going cross-eyed, and of course, of course, along the way, there was missing components that I had to find after the fact, and there's always of troubleshooting. Course. Oh I gosh. don't really know what's going on there, but... <laughs> yeah. I well, think... we've definitely hired the right man for the I think job. I we can just conclude that this is voodoo that's... witchcraft. Can I press one of the buttons? I want to press the button. You, you can't. That's what I was doing. I was okay. trying to see if it was green proof, and I think I proved that it's it... not. Okay. But... Decrease. <laughs> So there we go. The signs are there. Also, I just want to let you guys know, I've been I've been trying to think, you know, as a hippie as I now am, and all of the parts used were organic. Yeah. They're all organic. Oh, parts. organic redstone. So, yeah, it's yeah. All, all organic. It took me a little extra time to make sure that mm -hmm. they were all organic uh -huh. to gather that all up. But yeah, I made sure to yeah. do that. So it's all fitting. Uh, yeah. So uh -huh. This is brilliant. So now that this is done, that means mm -hmm. we can initiate the countdown to the giant RV surprise. Oh man! So, uh, impulse. If you would, if you would do me a favor and set it to three days time. Whoa! Okay. Three days. Three days. Whoa! It's going that soon, huh? This thing okay. is huh. launching in three days. Wow. Okay. There's one. One. Two. Two. And there should be three, unless I did the redstone wrong. Three. There we go. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, we're oh, gonna okay. count this down, and it's gonna be glorious. Very oh nervous. man, I'm getting kind of nervous. Countdowns make me nervous, gentlemen. I'm, That's the whole this is, point. This is freaking me out. Yeah. We could have just put a sign by Area 77 saying 321, but this this says it all, right? This says it yeah. all. The only thing to do is to cover it up and then watch the Area 77 guys yeah. squirm. Uh, has it started? Has it like is it started now? This is it. Is yeah, it this is this down? is it. 3 is days it? remaining. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is this is, this is okay. <laughs> Whoa. This It'll is getting okay, exciting. Right? It'll be all right, dude. We'll manage. <laughs> now that the countdown's done, I really need to get a move on with this because I've not really explained this very well, but this machine is directly related to the RV launch and big prank distraction. And I need to get this finished as soon as possible because without all of these... It isn't going anywhere. But let me quickly show you what I've done. I've got the bamboo farm and I've got the cactus farm. You already all know all that, but I've added... Oh, the noise, no! There we go. Whew. So I've added an XP vault. All of all this is doing is sending cactus down here. It's burning with the bamboo, so cactus feeds one. The bamboo feeds the bottom. There we go. And then this is filling up with green dye. Eventually, this will store so much XP that I can just mend anything that I need. So that's a byproduct, but any cactus that isn't used, it goes flying straight into here and is producing bone meal, which is one of the big things that I'm going to be needing. 
So, right, I think I just need to put my head to the grindstone, finish this project. It's nearly there, I kind of understand what's going on. Let's just get it done, because otherwise, without this, that isn't going anywhere. Let's begin. So I followed another redstone tutorial from Il Mango in order to make this particular farm. Now before you all go commenting saying I'm in the wrong biome, I already know I'm in the wrong biome, but it's not a big deal for what I want to do with it, so don't worry about it. This machine is my big first redstone project, and I've just been really excited to work on it, so watch out Season 7, because redstone green's gonna be hitting hard. Oh my goodness. Doesn't this look really impressive? Okay, maybe not super, like, I should have not used cobblestone. But hey, this is my first proper redstone project. It's not really finished, but I'm not gonna lie. I could use some help. So I've created this flower farm, and let's pop it on to see how it works. It's, um, it's a lag machine, for sure. Oh, I, I haven't got any uh, bone meal in it. Let me just pop that in. There we go. Now it's gonna work. So this is going to produce a lot of flowers and seeds. You can see them all there, and then they magic their way up, and then they end up in the water stream, blah, 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 blah. It's a big fancy machine, and it's awesome. However, this is the bit I'm struggling with. I've got a couple of filters set up, and then I am catching all of the flowers, but it's not going so well. The filter, this filter doesn't work particularly well. There's maybe too many items. <laughs> look, look at it. It's also quite hard to watch with all this lag going on. This is not a machine that can be on for very long. So, what I actually need is Impulse to help me out. So I've planned it all out. You can see that from a distance, I've got the outline of a barn. This is going to be my lag barn. <laughs> because all of these machines are gonna... Well, it's, it's gonna make the computer chug a little bit. So we've got our flower farm, our, our sugarcane farm, cactus, and bamboo, and they will all work together to produce multiple things. And I want all of those things to end up here and be accessible. So you get green dye, sugarcane, bone meal, yellow flower, red flower, zooxy dye, you know, all the flowers and stuff. And I know that I'm not in the best biome for this, but it honestly doesn't matter too much. I can just craft them all up. And I want to be able to turn them all on and off from here, like, like this. So, there's still actually quite a lot to do here, but I don't know what I'm doing. So, what I need to do is, is ask Impulse for some help, but I want to know what this looks and feels like, and maybe even sounds like, if I turn on all of the machines. Alright, that's the sugar cane one on. Now let's turn the bamboo on. Boop. And now the cactus. Boop. There's a lot of moving parts here. Look at it go! That is the... <laughs> Well, I can't actually hear it. If I go in here, can you hear it? Yeah, that's the noise of progress and production. It's actually not laggy at all. Like, okay, maybe it's, it's a little bit frame rate drops, but overall, this has gone really well. This thing gets through so much bone meal though, it's not gonna be able to keep up. So let's turn all of these off. Following the tutorial was the easy part. I've started linking them up, but there's still a long way to go. So, let's hop over to Impulse's little RV and give him a little instruction. I'm probably, there's probably too much to, to tell him all in one go. I'll just pop it on here, shall I? Okay, so I've written, Impulse, I need some more redstone help. It's kind of too long for signs, so I will just give you the details on Discord. I will also help decorate the countdown for you. Thanks, G. So, that countdown is some sort of technical marvel, I don't know how it works. Big mystery box, and it actually says two now. It's it's the next day, and the countdown is already at two days. Two days. Oh boy. Stressing me out a little bit, and I know what happens. It's gonna be really fun to see how people react to that. And I also noticed while I was here, there's a little payment. There's some diamonds, and paid in full by B00. Uh, thank you for your generous gift. It's not really a gift, is it? Because you bought it. M my love is purchased very easily. You shall have it forever. <laughs> not really a gift, B-dubs, but um, thank you for paying as I need some of these diamonds. As there's been quite a lot that needs doing underground. And if we hop down into the toilet flush. I can show you that Cleo has actually done her part of the project, which is really cool. Going here, she's made 
an awesome looking armor stand thing of us playing chess. This is so cool. This is exactly what I wanted to bamboozle the guys over at Area 77. Now, I only gave her 20 diamonds, so I'm actually going to give her a full stack of diamonds extra for this because it's just so cool. So I'm going to head over and do that. But first, I need to meet up with Rendog about making this tunnel a reality. I need to make this tunnel here a reality and start heading into Area 77. We got a lot to do. Let's go. Ren, what are you doing? Hi. Well, you've asked me to help you dig a hole, so I'm I'm here. I'm ready to go. Yeah, but you you know that doesn't move, right? Well, yeah, I've been looking for the on button. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been digging, uh, not sitting inside there pretending to be digging. I've actually been digging okay. um, a big hole, and yeah, do you wanna do you wanna see? Because I actually I really need some help now. It's um quite a long tunnel and it's it's I'm, at the point I'm now where it to. needs to spread out something's happened to your hole though man oh what, yeah what's, uh i tried to fight nature uh... and nature won. i think is the <laughs> is the best way i could describe the situation okay. here i thought i when i completed this i was like yes i have conquered the grass i came in here again and uh yes dude there's no there's no winning there is literally there's no point fighting this at all uh-huh well listen i got two pickaxes i'm ready to go ready to diggy diggy hole so is it through here is yep. this is this where we're going yep all right so we're gonna go in now area 77 is over here this yep. is the line yeah i've i went in the upstairs and like the coordinates and this is the exact point Ooh. where you cross the boundary area 77 okay hippie land area 77 uh, hippie huh? land <laughs> oh. <laughs> right okay. so uh, let's awesome. let's hop in the the mine carts and let's go down right to the end of the tunnel because it's, it's yep. actually a really big area. Doc and Scar didn't mess around. Oh, wow. I mean, you haven't messed around either. This is quite the impressive little tunnel that you've done so far, man. Like, if you is, build a tunnel, you got to do it properly, right? Ooh, you got the map up also. Okay, yeah, this is why I need oh. your help. Because okay. if, uh, if we actually take this map here, you can yeah. see where we are in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, Ooh, and okay. We're at the point now where we might want to like turn right and yeah. go forward and we want to basically we want to spread out into multiple locations here let me throw you the map and you can see right, where let's we have are a quick squiz oh you can actually see yes we need to go this way to head toward the sheep shear farm i mean we don't know where the machine is right no, so we've we kind no of got idea, a but... yeah we've got a tunnel yeah. under each of these different things i would think exactly but these yeah. maps are brilliant like i didn't actually expect it to show exactly where you are i know we can tell and we can make a huge tunnel system and make yeah. sure we hit all of these different uh points to look for all the yeah. stuff they've got hidden we definitely need and to i mean get yeah, we only hangar. paid uh nine beetroots for them so <laughs> that was a bargain. <laughs> what, a, what a steal um yeah listen i brought us uh, some music here too dude because this is going to be a lot of digging i think so yeah. i brought the boom box Ready to go. Um, I, I, do you have any records that you particularly want to play? I mean, I've got a selection. I'll just... Oh, I'm uh, going there we go. Me go on. Okay. Good. There we go. Nice. Mm. Very nice. Let's get digging to time. digging. Digging time. We've got a long way to go this direction. Now, I don't want to challenge Rendog's choice in music, but this was a particularly strange choice of track. I don't know if he's a hippie or if he just wants to move to Russia now. Very strange, Ren, but it kind of works with this time lapse. So what we're doing is we are properly tunneling under Area 77, but you cannot tell them. You cannot tell Doc or Scar what we're doing. This is a really top secret project, and we spent a long time making these tunnels look pretty, so we don't want them ruined. Thanks, you've got to keep this top secret. We did a lot of digging today, Ren has made it all the way down there, and I have made a tunnel all the way down there as you saw. So, it looks a little something like this, it starts over here, and it makes its way all the way along to about, about here, and then it branches out, and Ren's is going this way, and then mine is going like a, a right angle here to the watchtower, and then hopefully over to the hangar. And then when we break through, we can take a little look around and see if the time machine is there. That's what we're after. However, there's too much digging for one day. So let's head back because 
There's actually a bunch of other things that I need to do today that are, isn't just building a hole or building a machine. Man, I've got I've got a lot to do recently. It's been hard to get all of these things in. Anyway, so let's get out of here and head back over. What? What is that? Has has Impulse made some sort of noise machine? That sounded like a bunch of notebooks being sent over and over again, like... Death. Something's going on. How do you activate it? Is it just on a timer? I think it just activates on its own. This is really bad. I don't know where it is, but it's it's actually quite an... Oh, well, there's my tunnel. This stupid noise machine! Is it in here? Oh my goodness, where is this noise machine? Oh, they, they could have very easily have found this if I... <laughs> this is not very well hidden. Okay, this this is driving me mad. Where is it? This can't be Impulse didn't make this. There's no way. This is one of them Area 77 contraptions. This is the sort... This is exactly the sort of thing Doc would do. But I'm not sure why. I feel like I'm getting close. Is it in the tree? I legitimately cannot find this thing. It sounds like it's inside the trees, but I can't find it. Also, can I point out just for a second that Area 77 have made a gigantic wall all the way round their base. But what I want to know is, did they realize that you can walk through it at every single point? I mean, it looks awesome, but I don't... I don't think- I don't think they've, like, tested this out. <laughs> Still, I wouldn't want to go in there just yet. What the heck? They got like a- is that a TIE fighter from Star Wars? <laughs> oh, and their, their dudes have gone from the truck that was watching us. What on earth are they up to? Well, we're gonna find out soon because there's only two days to go. Right. Forget the noise machine, I can't find it. I'll have to leave it up to Impulse or Ren to have a go. I, I did spend a good 10 to 20 minutes looking for it, and it's I don't understand. I honestly don't understand where it's gone. So, the next thing on our list is to check if we have sold any more Sahara Now memberships, because we need to go and put our diamonds. Holy moly, we sold two more. That means I have now sold four memberships in total, 400 diamonds going in the pot. Because we need to head back to Sahara right now to deposit all of these to see who's going to win. I have no idea how much Iskal has sold, I have no idea how much Mumbo has sold, but four seems like a pretty good amount. Okay, here we are. Why am I on the middle one? Why is Mumbo on the big- Well, Mumbo has sold zero. Oh dear. Iskal has sold four as well. Oh no. Okay. Well, I have also sold four. So that is 400 diamonds. I need to sell one more if I'm going to win. Poor Mumbo. Poor Mumbo. He's got, he's got the biggest stack on the Sahara rung. And he hasn't sold any yet. Maybe I'll buy one from you, Mumbo. I, I'll, I'll be a true pal, okay? But... Yeah, it looks like I'm neck and neck at the moment. This is awesome. We've sold eight memberships in total. Oh, you've actually labeled them. You sold one to Jelly. Jelly is a cat, Iskal. That's not a hermit. So Scar bought two, Stress and B00. I don't know who bought mine. I'll be honest. I have no idea who bought mine. So it looks like we'll probably have to target a couple of people that don't have the memberships. Now, the other thing that I desperately need to do is to add a few more boxes to Sahara now. There is... Ooh, that's actually not a bad box, but I guess people don't need it. That is an awesome box as well. I don't know why no one has bought that. Okay, so there's only two boxes left. That's it. Right, so we need to fix that by adding our own shulker boxes. Fortunately, we have a lot of spare shulker boxes in our storage room, so I'm going to make up a good few boxes to try and store some things in, because it would suck if we got lots and lots of memberships for our new shop, 
but then there was nothing to sell. And I've also got a bunch of gravel left over from when I gathered all of that. So I will put one of those in. Right, give me a minute. I'm going to put together some fresh box deals to go in there. Ooh, string. We can sell that. Let's head over to the mess that is my base. Actually, while we're out here, let's head over to Cleo's base and give her some more diamonds for the awesome job she did on those armor stands. It won't take a second. So I've added a little note saying, mission success, nice job. Looks amazing, have some more diamonds, G. So I'm gonna give her a full stack of diamonds. I feel like that is more than fair. I wouldn't be able to make those armor stands and she did such a cool job on it. Anyway, let's go back and sort out these Sahara Now deals. Uh, every time I come back here, I think to myself, I really need to sort this out. Well, this is a good way to get rid of some clutter. Let's see if we can put together five boxes plus the gravel one. All right, I'm gonna need like 20 minutes to do this. So I went to go and fill up a shulker box full of sand, and do you remember my infinity room? Well, this is actually the setting for the map. It's completely made of snow. This is what gives the infinity room its complete blankness, this whole big sheet. But I just hit the jackpot, and I found three chests full of sand that I forgot existed. This must have been dug out at the start of the episode, or very close to the start of the series, and it's just been sitting here. How on earth have I missed this? Well, this is just free sand. I have got all the sand that I need, and this will fill up my very last now deal. Okay, I've done way more than five Sahara box deals. Now, I know that we've sold eight memberships, so I wanted to put in a not exactly a wide variety, but some good deals in here. So let me show you what I've got. One full shulker box of TNT. I have no idea how much I'm going to charge for that. A box of string, a box of gravel, a box of logs and chests. This is incredibly valuable. So that's a really good deal. Some rockets, some sponge. I don't know if people really need sponge at this point, but it's there. Sand and more sand. I don't think it gets much better than that. So I think that's where I am going to stop my deals. And I just need to price these up and we are good to add them to the system. The TNT is going to be 15 diamonds and that is because it costs so much sand per TNT. This is like four boxes full of sand plus all of the gunpowder plus the shulker box itself. Whoa, that kind of scared me. String. A box full is four diamonds. A box full of gravel is four. Sand is four diamonds. Like I said, I really want these to be worth a lot. So that's why I'm going for such ridiculously low prices. I really want the now membership to be worth it. But then some things don't make sense. Like this one's going to be shiny sand, which is five diamonds. So, you know, sponge. To be honest, most of these that are four or five diamonds are cheaper than buying just normal shulker boxes. So, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't do it. The one that's full of logs, I'm going to sell for 15 diamonds. Now, you might think that's quite expensive for now, but it's not. Let's say that the shulker box is only two diamonds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So the rest, all of these are for free so this is about half price what you would normally pay if you needed all of these logs and let's not forget how expensive chests can be and you do get through these in build so i think 15 diamonds is pretty fair for that so that is all of my deals i now need to go and add them i really also need mumbo and iskow to contribute plenty of boxes as well because i'm gonna very quickly go through all of my stock all right there we go one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It should start filling up, I hope. It's doing something, it's ticking. If it's burning my stuff, I'm gonna cry. There we go, my deals have come up. Lots of logs for 15 diamonds. That's a really, really good deal. I like, I've only put stuff in here that I think I would buy as well. Like, 
This one, for example, lots of sand, five die. It's a no-brainer, really. It's a no-brainer. And every time you get to keep the shulker box. Maybe the TNT one is too expensive. I don't know. Let's see. I don't even think anyone needs that much TNT. It's a ridiculous amount. I know I didn't. That's why I'm selling it. All right. Well, that is now my chores done for the day. Whew. It's been a busy episode, but guess what? The grind doesn't end here for me, but it is the end of the episode. So I will see you in the next one where the countdown clock will officially hit zero. And well, you'll have to find out in the next episode. Goodbye.